Good morning. Happy Friday. Congratulations. Uh, You've made it to made Friday. It. it is October 22nd. We have so much coming up on the show. More with this guy, our brand new uh, member of the Wish TV family. This is Peter. He's going to be uh, producing over in All Indiana Bets, 11 o'clock on Saturdays here at Wish TV and noon on Sundays. Peter, this is what, how we like to initiate you into the fam. <laughs> you feeling good? No. <laughs> I can just hear this thing like inflating. This is this is so much fun. This is great. Uh, so, and now deflating. And okay. a little deflating. So Peter will be hanging with us all show. We have a lot coming up today on Indie Style. The question is, how do you build the perfect hot dog? We're going to be turning to the expert at Pertillo's, Jessica. She runs a Westfield location. Now, Jess, what is the key to building a perfect dog? What are the building blocks? Well, you got to have all the perfect toppings first, of Ooh. course. And everything's got to be fresh. So we are going to build the perfect hot dog today, and it all starts with the perfect dog itself and the perfect bun. Our, uh, the perfect bun. All right, we're going to be in the kitchen. We can't wait for that. And, you know, there's so much behind the camera drama. Did you watch the morning show? I do. I've seen a couple episodes. Okay, yes. this is really cool. She is on the hit series, Greta Lee, and she is a boss babe. She shakes things up over on that show. I ask her what it's like to work alongside Jen Aniston, Reese Witherspoon, and her fashion is so fierce. Perfect. I can't wait, so you're going to love to hear. And this is such a great comeback story. Uh, he lived nearly a decade homeless in a cardboard box. Bobby Hayden now runs Cardboard Box Ministries, and we're looking forward to hearing some music from him as well. Oh, we can't wait for that. We also can't wait for our question of the day. People My favorite. Are very passionate about our big question of the day, and it's brought to you by Kitchen Saver. Okay, so here it is. We want to know when is too early to put up holiday decor, and when is too late to take it down? Ah, it's some of them are already up. I mean, yeah. I like the fall decor, like between like October and November. They've got uh, like corn husks and, and things like that. That yes. fall kind of and thing. But obviously, we like the Halloween decor. You know, Peter, you like that Halloween decor? I don't have to wear this all the time. <laughs> yeah, that's your new uniform this here. Point, this, I have to wear this every day. Every day of this month. <laughs> <laughs> and on the sports, but on, on the events. Is that cool? Good to know. Okay. He's looks, getting used to he it, though. so yeah. nice. Yeah. Thank He's you. getting used to it. It's a good look. Man. You it's can't miss look. him coming down the hall. We love this. All right, so Maryland coming in hot. Never before Thanksgiving and always take it down before New Year's Day. She's wow, quick she's with on it. it. That's a lot of, that's a quick turnaround time. I'm still laying around in my pajamas. <laughs> I'm on still, like, wearing my stretchy it. pants yeah. at a coma. And then coma. Chris says, tree goes up the weekend after Thanksgiving and comes down first week in January. They are really proactive about this, this is kind crazy. of stuff. I mean, we don't, I don't like the people that leave them forever. <laughs> Some people, I honestly, just leave them all year round. Like, if you have an extravagant Griswold-esque like display, that. and then She's they just great. don't turn on the lights. Kimberly <laughs> says, in my humble opinion, holiday decorations should go the first day of the month and come down the last day of the month, no matter the holiday. That being said, you do you. I like the way she ended that. You do that you, Bill. Because they're going to do it anyway. That's right. That's right. <laughs>